Ateneo Blue Eagles are the kings of the UAAP Men's Football Tournament. The Blue Eagles reclaimed the title after beating bitter rival De La Salle in the finals. Joining me today are members of the champion team led by best goalkeeper AJ Arcelia, season MVP Harvey Gayoso, and Rupert Banya. Hello guys! Hey, Thank hey, you for visiting us hey, here hey, in The Score. You, after winning your championship, first of all, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Galing, galing. You beat DDLSU in the finals. <laughs> Harvey, you are the third generation football player yes. in your family. How yes. proud is your family seeing that you won your fourth Best Striker Award, second MVP Award, second championship under your belt? Um, it, it was a great celebration for the family. You know, um, even if we were divided, Tito Alvin was the coach of La Salle. Um, we were still there supporting each other. Uh, my, my family, they all came from both sides of my family. They were all there to support not only me, but also my Tito. And a lot of the Ateneo community yeah. really looking forward to your game and your finals yeah. here this year. How yeah. do you feel about the support, the overwhelming support of your fans and your team? Oh, it's amazing. Um, they're basically our inspiration as to why we play. They're their motivation to, to work hard and to be where we are now. So um, we can never thank them enough for what they've done for us. The support. This is your second championship, guys. Yes. Second also award for you, AJ. Yes. This is your second best goalkeeper award. You kept. The La Salle strikers at bay after that first goal by Al Muhili. How was the feeling that you guys were able to come back from behind and win the final championship? Um, it's it's like it's been all year. I know that Harvey. I told him at halftime. Told him it's you have my back and I have your back. And after they scored, like, I was like I felt a little pressure and I kind of let him down. But then in the end, it all worked out. Same with Julian and him scoring that goal in the hundredth minute. It was really crazy. <laughs> How do you guys talk in football? Like the court is so big, and you're by the goal, and you're running around all over the field. How? What? What time do you get to be able to converse and come up with a game plan? Um, it's kind of hard with the drums, and with, especially with the yeah, the championship game. There are a lot of fans, but I try my best to yell at everybody. Sometimes they don't get to hear it, but it, we do try our best. <laughs> I mentioned your individual awards, and I have an award for Rupert as well. Your teammates have a separate award, but for you, my award for you is the breakout award this you, year you. you're graduating yes you this yes. year what an amazing performance from you you were the role player this year that really stepped up and a lot of people noticed that as well how was the feeling coming into the finals winning your second championship and graduating as well oh it's the best thing that i could ask for uh, i can't thank these guys enough because after losing last year in the semifinals i want to go out with a bang and I guess I did that as well, especially with how I performed the whole season. But it wouldn't be possible without them also. You weren't always consistently in the starting lineup on the field, but what confidence, where did you get that confidence to be able to come out this year, go out with a bang in your last playing year, and perform great as well? I think most part of it was the experience after playing four years. I know the physicality of the game is... and. The trust that coach gave me during the season, he challenges me every game, every training. And he'll be like, Rupert, uh, I'm going to start you this game. Kaya mo ba? And I'll be like, Coach, kaya. Kaya, kaya! <laughs> well, grab your confidence. This is your last playing year. Way to go out, winning the finals, and the breakout award from me. <laughs> Thank you Third. It's your third year already, yes. so you have two more. Yes. Fourth year, yes. a lot of people are asking, and I'm going to ask as well, <laughs> will you play your last and final playing year? Uh, we're celebrating now at the moment, and you know, I'm open to anything. I'm open to whatever God has planned for me. But at the moment, I'm kind of focusing on um, finishing my finals. It's our finals week and celebrating with the team. <laughs> How was it like this year for you guys? You had to come back and prove that you were worthy to become the champions. AJ, what has the pressure? How was the pressure this year for you and your team? Um, I don't think we felt pressure really. I think it's just uh, we knew what we had. Like we knew the skill set that we had and the team that we had. That we were a championship caliber team, and it was just trusting in coach, trusting in each other, and trusting in the system really. And that system really led to this year's finals. And that also led to your breakout performance. <laughs> Diba, how about you, Rupert? What was the pressure for you? It was your last playing year. What was going through your head all throughout the season? For me, the, the best thing that I can think of every time I play is to enjoy the game. Because I just really want to fall in love with the sport every single time. And every time I do that, I happen to score, luckily. And... 
the best the, the best of the results that we got naman and here we're here at the finals and we were champions so I guess uh, it's the best thing that I could give to Adatineo as well for uh, for giving me this opportunity to play for them. Way to give back to the school, that's the most important thing, especially as athletes. And you, Harvey, your coach and a lot of people are, of course, asking you to play your last and your final year. How was the pressure in making that decision? How does your family play a big role in that? Because, um, well, basically my family would always be there to support me, whatever decision I make. And Coach JPS also, we've also talked about it, and he, was all, he, he, kept, he kept saying that he'll leave the last year um, for my decision to make. So... Um, it's all. In the, it, it all depends on my decision, but at the same time, um, I'm just I'm just open to whatever happens. I'm open to opportunities either to receive from um, other clubs or at the same time to stay in Ateneo. Um, I love the team that I'm playing with. I love the guys who are going to be staying. Um, I love the legacy that these guys have um, left behind for for the team. And um, it wouldn't be a problem for me deciding to stay, but it wouldn't also be a problem for me deciding to uh, move on to the next level. A lot of opportunities being opened up, especially after winning a championship in the UAAP, your second. How about you, Rupert? What is the future like for you? Uh, I can't really say that. Football is going to be guys. I want to check out all the opportunities out there. Uh, I can possibly work right now. so. But then, I don't want my football career to end like that in an instant. And I've been playing the sport for almost 10 years already. Leaving it will be really painful for me. Uh, of course, as much as possible, I want to play. And I will see what are the options for me from this point out. The future is definitely looking bright for you guys who are staying, staying in the <laughs> Ateneo school to play football again. And of course, in your future career, whether it may be in football or in another thing. Thank you so much, guys, <laughs> for you, dropping so by. And congratulations thank you, thank you. once again to all your awards and to all the future championships and awards that you will have and commit. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Still ahead, we'll speak to our second batch of PBL stars who will do battle in the upcoming Reinforced Conference. Stay with us.